Welcome, duelists. My hair is telling me that it's your host for the most, Griever as always, bringing you guys some more Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom content. Now, before you all say it, I know what you're going to say. Are you not sick of this damn game yet? Because we're sick of you making videos about this damn game. And you would be right, but I'm still going to do it anyway. So, uh, without further ado, you guys already uh, can check like up here or up here, somewhere like that. And, of course, the title of the video... We are actually doing a draft league, and actually season one is tentatively over by the time of the recording of this video, and we have a date to already start season two, and we've polished up a few things from the first season. And how did this all come about? Well, as you guys know, I've played a lot of this game on my channel, both live stream and off stream and that kind of idea. Now, as a result of playing the game so much, I managed to connect to both a Reddit and a Discord revolving around Soldy Falsebound Kingdom. Got to meet some people that really like this very, let's be honest, not the best game in the world and sort of an older game. And I got to meet a lot of people who were still very interested in playing said game. And the more we talked and the more people that started to join as a result of, of course, the randomizer that I played previously on the channel, uh, that sort of brought a bit of an influx into both the Reddit and the Discord. And we decided, hey, why don't we sort of try to play together? But we've all played it so many times, so many ways, and it's sort of like, well, what can we do different? And I forget who was initially the one to bring it up, but what about a draft league format? Similar to Pokemon. Once again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Digimon Pokemon always you know, compared now and again <laughs> by a lot of the community. So they do it in Pokemon. Why don't we do it for Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom, a game that we're all so invested in, a game we all really love. Now, this was very disorganized. I'm just going to straight up say it. That's why I'm making this video pretty much, because there was a plan to make a lot of videos. Season 2 will be done far better. But uh, this was done very disorganized, very spur of the moment and haphazard. We grabbed... The people talking at the time, which was about half a dozen people, as you can see, uh, that decided, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, and we just sort of went with it. We said, well, we draft some monsters, we play the game, all good. Since we can't battle each other, the idea was basically, at first, to speed run the game. Who was going to, you know, if we all started at the same time. Then we realized the logistics of doing that was not exactly possible because everyone, of course, in different time zones. And when do you stop start? And, you know, you'd all have to stream in a Discord call at the same time. It was getting a little ridiculous. Now, I believe I was the one to come up with the idea of how about a point-based system instead. Hence, what you guys can see over here, the life point system, which is just, it's, uh, it's a subtraction system. You start with so many life points, similar to Yu-Gi-Oh!, uh, instead of gaining points, you start with points and you lose them. The more marshals and monsters you lose, your points go down. And of course, the description is right here. Five points for a monster, ten points for a marshal, until your score basically reaches zero. Now, we never decided, once again, I, as I said, season one was very disorganized um, and spur of the moment. So once we drafted, for example, the total for the life points was 200. The reason for that is 24 monsters and eight marshals totaled 200. It worked out pretty nicely. Basically, if you hit zero, you lost anyways, right? The thing was, after we had already decided on this and everyone sort of started, and I made uh, the pretty graphic, which I'll probably show right now. I made a graphic for us so we could all keep track for each other. Everyone really appreciated that, and it was really nice and stuff. And it uh, took a little bit of work, of course, to get all, the, all that together. But the uh, fact of the matter is, is that we did that and then we added uh, reserve monsters because of course with only six players we had some additional uh, monsters left over not including of course god cards which we decided to ban for obvious reasons uh, we only allowed one fusion to be drafted per similar to megas for pokemon we allowed one fusion and one class change monster per uh, per draftee pretty much so that somebody couldn't draft a bunch of fusions yada 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 um, so we did have some limitations to the draft, but of course there was leftover monsters. When we decided to do that, uh, I had already come up with the, the system and the points and some people had already started and that kind of idea. So I just said, all right, forget it. Zero, I guess, doesn't mean, you know, you could go into the minus technically and still win the run, right? Uh, because as I said, it was originally developed as a sort of a speed run idea. And then a lot of people said, nah, they weren't really into doing that and who can win it the fastest. So... We all basically started playing at different times. Now, here are the end results. Now that I've got all that out of the way. Here are the end results for Season 1, as they currently stand. 
And I'm going to go through them and sort of explain what happened in Season 1. Because I did record a bunch of gameplay for this. Uh, I, I recorded every map and stuff. And I was intending on making highlight reels. Not what uh, showing you guys the entire gameplay of each map. Because I've played, as we've already talked about at the beginning of this video, I've bored you guys to death enough with this game. Even though I love it, I know that it's not, you know, it's not exactly bringing in the views for me, right? It's an older game, and it's not exactly super popular. So... As a result, uh, I decided maybe some highlight reels of some big moments. Deaths, you know, big wins, that kind of idea. But as I record and tried to get through the draft, I got behind on other content, I got behind on other things, and as a result, all the content's been sitting there and I've only basically edited about the first five missions worth. And it's getting really long, it's getting really tedious, and as a result, I decided, and season two is coming. Season two is happening this month. Uh, and we're already in the middle of the month, and I just didn't really have the time to be, you know, going through, uh, going through that much content and trying to squeeze out, you know, five or six videos of highlights for season one, a season that nobody knew existed, and then start off season two content and be like, bam, all right, so there was season one, let's jump into season two right away, right? So that, uh, that re really was the case there. Now we'll talk a little bit more about the plannings for Season 2 near the end of the video. But let's just go over these results. And just to be clear, these are still technically tentative results. They aren't the official final results of Season 1. But for all intents and purposes, they pretty much are. Because uh, in less than a week, the Season 2 draft is happening. So, I mean, potentially one of the uh, two people or both of the people could uh, just really grind it out in the next couple of days and that'd be the end of it but I just don't see it so for right now these are the standings that we're gonna go with as the finalized uh, standings so going over the results the first contestant is Blackthorn now Blackthorn had a team unfortunately Blackthorn was one of the people that uh, sort of semi disqualified himself he chose uh, he basically said listen I, I don't really have the time to commit to this. I'm sorry. He got about halfway through the game, not quite halfway through the game, uh, before he had to basically call it quits. And it's really unfortunate because uh, other than the other commitments, he had a really solid team. He had some really good uh, monster drafts. He uh, got one of the blue eyes uh, sniping from me. He got uh, a red eyes black metal dragon invitation to a dark sleep. He had the Genemai uh, elves. He had a... Uh, what, what else did he have that was really good? Oh, he had the potential for uh, uh, Black Meteor Dragon because he had Red Eyes and Meteor Dragon. He got himself a Zoa, a Serpent Knight Dragon. He had the Gate Guardian potential. He had all three pieces. I mean, that was really, like, his team was going to look really solid. And even if, for example, his uh, Gate Guardian team never got a Polymerization, which, spoiler alert, uh, anybody who drafted for fusion in this particular seed, there was no polymerization in the seed. Because the r items are also, for the most part, randomized. So, yeah, no polymerization for anybody. So, uh, unfortunately, the, the randomizer never allowed... We got some great items as a result of the randomizer, but no polymerization. So it was quite unfortunate for anybody who drafted that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I believe he got about not quite halfway. He only lost about two monsters, and he ended up with 190 points before uh, bowing out. Next, we went up with uh, Tom, Tom Skibro. Now, Tom uh, has been very active with this, and he's one of the head honchos along with, I guess, uh, ZZ Plays and myself are sort of the four kind of sharing the responsibility of making this happen. So, And we're four, we're sort of player creator people at the same time if that makes sense um but yeah so tom did extremely well tom actually uh, won the draft as far as i'm concerned he won season one uh he did extremely well he uh, got through the whole thing uh and he had a pretty solid draft himself he actually got both battle guards but never got to the point i believe by the time he got their special he lost lava battle guards so that was a that was a big hit for him and stuff. He ended up with 165 points, only losing uh, one marshal and five monsters. But he also, once again, he had a very good draft. Some highlights of that would be uh, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Uh, the Robotic Knight really came in clutch. We ended up dubbing him Duke. He was the Duke. He was no longer just a knight. He was the Duke. He, 
he was really uh, stellar when we watched a lot of gameplay. See, that was the thing too. Even though I never got any highlight reels out, I know that ZZ Nap did get a bunch of uh, his gameplay out on his channel, so definitely go check that out um, for this season. But uh, And he timed himself too. He did it in a speedrun variant. Um, but we uh, would all jump in a Discord call and watch each other play the game as well. So uh, that was a lot of fun, even if uh, the content wasn't made. But he had some pretty solid monsters. He had a Labyrinth tank. He had uh, the Magnet Warriors. He had all three Magnet Warriors and stuff like that. And even though, once again, Polly wasn't available, it, it was it was pretty devastating. He Yeah, so so he had some guys. He really did have uh, some potential there. Uh, I, I forget how his other teams really shaped up, potentially. Uh, but he, he was pretty solid with his main teams, I'll tell you that much. Uh, next, of course, is me. Now, the point for the asterisk is of course because I failed I didn't get all the way I failed on mission 18 uh, I forget exactly why I failed I believe it was due to paralysis I, I got in really cocky. My teams were goaded. My teams were strong as hell. Like, uh, but I got pretty cocky. I jumped into something, and then it was I was stun locked, and just waited for my team to die. And as a result, and most of the guys said most most uh, uh, I believe it was well, basically four out of the six of us, uh, or three out of the six of us, Tom, ZZ, and Plays all said, and I think even Koopa said. You can keep playing if you want. Just take a hit and uh, replay the, you know, take a hit and point and replay the mission. You know, your monsters are dead or whatever, but just redo it and stuff. But no, I actually lost the map. As far as I'm concerned, it was a Nuzlocke and it was a game over as far as I was concerned because I lost Yami's team to a stun lock where I just waited for my monsters to die. They had too much AP. I couldn't get out. I never woke up or never got out of the paralysis. And uh, it was a bad day. It was a bad day. Um, but up until that point, I had a stellar damn draft. I had a really good draft, and I was actually winning. I was doing the best up until about mission 9 or 10. Uh, I had only like one monster death. I was doing extremely well, uh, if that. And I drafted really, really well. Some guys that came in clutch were, of course, I had Soggy the Dark Clown that we dubbed Soggy the Dark King. He was... He was a goat. He really held out. See, I was trying to draft some medium monsters because everyone was going for the high monsters when we started the draft. And I decided, you know what? Right after we grabbed a couple, because I started off with Magician of Black Chaos, right? I started off with some heavy hitters, but then I started going for some medium level monsters. I went for a Flame Swordsman. I went for a Sword Stalker. I went for some strong monsters, but not not top tiers because I realized that once the top tiers start running out people are going to go for the middle of the pack monsters and I wanted to take the best of the middle knowing that the top tiers were already going to be taken anyways. Once I had a few of those uh, I thought I had a, quite a good draft. I got myself a Jinzo that unfortunately never really got to see much action. I had a great team with uh, Flame Swordsman, Blue Eyes, and Black uh, Land Fire Dragon. I had a uh, Burfamat Gazelle team that unfortunately without no polymerization were sort of stunted a little bit, but they came with a Tiger Axe who was uh, amazing. 
had a Harpy Lady team, had Sword Stalker Blue Eyes again, I had two Blue Eyes, and I also, my main team, was a Magician of Black Chaos, Buster Blader, and Silver Fang. And I mean, this team was, I know I'm talking about myself the most, but uh, since I'm the one who failed, you know. Uh, but up until that Mission 18, I think I had uh, 160 points or something. Uh, no, I had 100, I don't think, I think at the time, yeah, wait a minute. No, I think I might have actually had a chance to win number one. Uh, I think I had 170 points going into that mission, and that's when I lost. Or it was the previous mission that I that I went under Tom's score, tied Tom's score. But either way, yeah, uh, that mission 18 really really screwed me up. But uh, I lost, and I took that loss, and I just said, well, I lost the map. That's that's the end of it, right? Um, so it is what it is, and we'll we'll get into why because one specific score that might not add up for you guys is uh, is uh, in fifth is in the uh, fifth spot there. We'll get to that in a minute because uh, once again we talked about maybe me replaying and stuff. Uh, so then we have Koopa, who once again, for all intents and purposes, as far as we know, we can't contact Koopa. Uh, Koopa hasn't been very active, but he was playing uh, very heavily. Was really interested at first. And then uh, we haven't really heard much from him for a, a few weeks, and uh, sort of decided, well, we gotta we gotta get moving. So potentially, once again, this is the one score Blackthorn did bow out officially, but Koopa might still come back and change the score. I don't know. Only got to about mission seven or eight. Uh, lost three monsters. I didn't personally care for Koopa's draft that much. Once again, a very status uh, draft. A lot of armored zombie, uh, snake hair, a lot of paralysis and poison and that kind of idea. It's a hacks team. It's a big hacks team. Uh, some of the only monsters that I would consider drafting on my team would be things like uh, the Dark Elf, Mega Zowler, uh, the Embodiment. Embodiment's really good. Uh, the Harpy Ladies, he had two. Uh, I had one of the Harpy Ladies, he had the other two. Um, and yeah, so, but not my type of team whatsoever. I don't like to win with hacks and AP. I like to win with just, just the monsters I like sort of idea. So I stunt myself in my own draft in a way. Now here's the fun one. It's ZZ Nap. Now ZZ Nap, uh, only had five points remaining. And I actually questioned when he was playing this, we were watching this together. Uh, all of us were in there other than Blackthorn and Koopa. So Tom, myself, said that and plays were watching him and I basically said if you reach zero do you still lose even if you win the final map and we were sort of once again this was spur of the moment we had no idea what we were doing with the draft and we didn't really set out all the rules quite yet we didn't polish anything as a result uh, it was sort of up in the air and if you notice the 20 to 6 score doesn't really add up to him only having five points left well we sort of had to take some points off for purpose purposefully resetting a map, for example, which is what he did, I believe. And uh, he didn't lose a map, but he purposely uh, did that. Um, uh, he reset maps and stuff like that for for reasons that I forget and stuff like that. And there, there was no hard feelings or whatever, but everyone was sort of, because we didn't have concrete rules about what you can and can't do, uh, ZZ took some liberties with that. He admits that, so it's all good. But uh, yeah, so his points look a little off considering the, the rip ratio and stuff like that. Because we just said, well, then fine, we'll take 10 points off for doing that. It's like, ah, it's glitched out, ah, it's this, that, that. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever, you know, and stuff like that. So I, I just said, can I take five? Can I take 10? Yeah, sure, okay. You know, so I uh, kept doing that. So ZZ uh, was technically uh, in third place. Technically speaking, because I failed, and uh, we decided that only people that completed the game or completed the run would count. Now, that's fine dandy as far as I'm concerned. So even though I had a higher score, along with, and, but Blackthorn and Cooper basically are bowed out or disqualified for all intents and purposes, and I actually failed to complete the run. So realistically, there's only three people who actually finished the draft league for all intents and purposes. Um, now, ZZ's draft, I actually quite like. Uh, he's got Dark Magician Girl, Black Luster Soldier. He had, uh, he does have, uh, he had some Dark Magicians. He had both Dark Magician and Dark Magician number two. He had uh, a Pumpkin. 
He had uh, uh, Reaper of the Cards. He had he had quite a few monsters that I actually really quite like. Um, and he had an Armored Lizard and stuff. Now, uh, he had a little Larvae Moth that he considered the goat. That thing was 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 his goat, you know, where Soggy uh, was my guy, where where uh, Tom had the Robotic Knight and I had Soggy getting both of us out of jams. He had the Larvae Moth. Larvae Moth was his little goat. And uh, unfortunately, he lost Larvae Moth. He lost pretty much all his monsters. He was down to like, I think six monsters in the end. So yeah, that was the thing. Um, Finally, we had plays uh, and plays one. He was the first one to complete it, I believe, and he thought he didn't do too too good. Uh, I didn't mind his draft. He had a Gaia Curse Dragon Chain once again, Gaia and uh, Curse, but no Poly. So in the end, and he ended up losing Gaia quite early, I believe. Uh, he had a Panther Warrior, which was awesome, a Hercules Beetle uh, or a Heracles Beetle. Uh, he had a Beast of Gilfer, he had a Summoned Skull, a Celtic Guardian, a Moisture Creature. He had he had a quite an interesting little setup team, uh, and he had a Metal Zoa. The thing is, he also had a Time Wizard and a Baby Dragon, and uh, once again, another Poly team that he just couldn't use, so it was quite unfortunate there. Um, he ended up with 110 points, as we see, and he ended up uh, in second place, though. So he did pretty well. He did pretty well overall, considering that uh, most of us. And even if I had gotten out of mine, I don't know if I would have tied him or had. Maybe I would have been third had I not screwed up and stuff like that. Maybe I would have been first. Who, who knows? But once again, maybes. But I lost mission 18. So what can you do? Um, but that's pretty much the scores there. So that covers base all of season one. That just highlights season one. Um, also, he had a moisture creature, which he dubbed the G-O-D. He dubbed God, uh, plays did. So, some of us had some MVPs that we just shouted out with different, different little nicknames and stuff like that, because we were just, they were helping us so much. Um, but yeah, so, that covers pretty much all of Season 1 right there. That covers it, uh, all the highlights as far as I know, uh, how the draft went and that kind of idea. Uh, and yeah, so... There was season one. What did you guys think of it? Once again, it was completely spur of the moment, and, and I keep saying that, but it really was, and we didn't have any concrete rules about what, the, and some that, once again, ZZ took a, a little bit of liberty with. My first run, I took a little bit of liberty with, uh, like grinding and how many marshals do you have to beat? Do you have to beat all of them? Uh, what happens when you time out? What happens when you have a glitch out? What happens when, you know, you want to reset or something like that? You know what I mean? What happens if you lose because of uh, Taya or Bakora, those missions, that kind of idea. So a lot of things weren't set in stone, um, but now they now they are. Now they are. So anyways, hope you guys are there to enjoy uh, the highlight videos and the stream for uh, Season 2. You know, it's just, it's a niche thing, but it's just a lot of fun for me So and, and for everyone involved. So uh, hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see all you duelists next time. Heart of the Cards, guide everyone, and I can't think of one last cheesy, nerdy thing to say. So, bye!